Hello everybody, welcome back to Clean Fill Wanted. Today is Boxing Day. We're going to make this sliding lid box. Roy Underhill does make some sliding lid boxes. In one of his episodes from like two years ago, he makes them as gifts to go along with his aunt's gifts of treats that she puts in there, but he makes like a double-sided box. I wanted to make sure I was capable of doing this first. This unsharpened pencil is about seven and a half inches, and I'm assuming most are about that. So, I'm going to make my box eight inches inside miter. Fully expect I'm going to screw this up, but I'm going to cut this in half and then use the other side of it as the top and the bottom. And then the walls will be more of an appropriate thickness. That's not bad. Mm, mm. When you use a marking gauge on long grain to, to set your depth, you're gonna keep planing until you start getting this. Right here is still the marking gauge thickness. This is just the feather edge just above it. And that's when you see that you know you're right at your marking gauge you need to slow down set your plane a little bit lighter and get closer touch a little hump in the center sticking board Groove, groove, evenly spaced. I could put one in the center and do Roy Underhill's style, but keep it simple, stupid, right? This is my miter jig I made, which is just 45 degree, 45 degree, and a 90 degree to this plane.
go. Kind of working. So this is uh, putting a nice clean 45 degree angle on these. The width of these is pretty much perfect. It's about a sixteenth shorter than the groove is, well, the end of the grooves, a thirty-second on each side. This is this is definitely a sixteenth on each end, which is okay because it's not going to move this way. The wood will move widthwise, so you want a little bit more room for these panels to move widthwise. But right now, this is perfect, and I need to plane these down so that the edges fit into these grooves. I'm going to use this test piece so I don't damage any of that. And it slides nicely. It's pretty snug, but it slides nicely. So, so. two lines. Bottom floats, tops there. Uh, I am going to saw directly on this line. Into it. This is the little pull out piece for the sliding top, which will go right there. But that is a cross grain issue. So I kind of want to glue it. I don't think that this is that wide that it's a big issue, but I will probably put some glue on it right in the middle, maybe about an, uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch in the middle and let it go at that. Uh. <laughs> Look at that. That.
for Boxing Day, we made a box. A sliding lid box, so that smells like shellac. This is really the first time I've done mitered corners. I've never really liked mitered corners. Um, but this actually turned out really nice. This casement miter shooting board worked out really well. So I will be putting that video up soon, together soon. So anyways, subscribe, like, and comment, all that stuff. And I'll catch you next time, hopefully before the new year. But if not, I hope you all have a happy new year. And we'll catch you shortly after that. Take care. Happy Boxing Day. And it's the right size. I didn't screw up on my sizing. <laughs> so that's a big win.